If you've been having to live with pain, annoying aches, or perhaps loss of joint flexibility, weeks, months, or even years after the injury or onset of pain, there's a little known treatment called extracorporeal shockwave therapy, or shockwave for short, that is giving some people incredible results. In this video, we're going to explore more about shockwave therapy and see if it's something that could help you. So I'm at the office of Dr. Ulysses Bidkarum. He is a doctor of chiropractic based in Pleasanton, California, and Shockwave is one of the modalities that he offers at his clinic. So let's go on in and see what it's all about. Okay, we're here with Dr. Bidkarum. Dr. Bidkarum, can you tell us more about Shockwave therapy? So extracorporeal Shockwave therapy, actually, it's been a technology that's been around for about 40, 50 years. Um, it's, for lack of a better term, it's ultrasound on steroids. Mm -hmm. You have pure sound pulses that are directed uh, to a certain depth for treatment of different conditions. Things like tennis elbow, uh, plantar fasciitis, um, trochanteric bursitis, different musculoskeletal conditions. Mm -hmm. And what's the physics behind it? How does it achieve, what, what does it do mechanically to the body to achieve its pain relief? So, as you know, most of the scale, musculoskeletal conditions, they, uh, there's some you know, common denominators as far as problems with them. One is the scar tissue that forms. Uh, when you get injured, your body, the first thing that it does, it creates scar tissue, it creates inflammation. If it's in the spine region, it creates muscle spasming. Uh, and the, unfortunately, that stays on for years after year, and a lot of times, nothing has been done properly to break up that scar tissue. And scar tissue, one of the main problems with it, besides having a real bad matrix, being less vascular, uh, it has more pain receptors than normal tissue. Mm -hmm. So the areas that we injured, for example, shoulder, elbow, feet, low back, what have you, they develop what we call uh, trigger points. These are the po areas that have higher scar tissue, and the higher scar tissue has more pain receptors. So we always have not only weakness from that area, but problems with them. They reoccur all the time because that scar tissue has not been addressed properly or broken up. Mm -hmm. So extracorporeal shockwave therapy, we're able to go in there, determine, let's say, for example, if it's a tennis elbow where you injure that joint, um, what the machine has given us, what the technology has uh, uh, given us the ability to do is to go in there, figure out how deep we need to go to access where the tendon attaches to the bone and via the sound pulses that the machine generates, we could break up the scar tissue that forms in that area. So there's several things that happens. Not only we're breaking up the scar tissue, so we're eliminating that, uh, the more of the pain receptors, what's referred to as nociception. We're also getting rid of the chronic inflammation that, you know, that exists there. Uh, we're also modulating or getting rid of um, or reducing the uh, substance B production which leads to pain uh, formation mm -hmm. and uh, you know restoring or creating more vascularity to the area mm -hmm. which leads to faster healing. Right and scar tissue is different from regular uh, ligament tissue in Correct. that it's, it's less elastic it's my Correct. understanding so this is why you re-injure the same areas it's, it's a stress point and uh, it's going to give Correct. typically so Basically, the, the shock wave kind of breaks down that abnormal matrix. It does. And then does, does new tissue grow in there? Or? Yeah, your body has a, any time that you have an injury, first of all, um, normal tissue, it's more linear in pattern. Mm -hmm. Scar tissue, it's like a blob. Think about a, a hairball, because uh, your brain is trying to heal that area as quickly as possible. So it infuses the injured area with a lot of that scar tissue, and also it doesn't get enough time to have enough vascularity go into that area. So it's weaker, and mm -hmm. uh, that's why we always have problems existing if it's not taken care of properly. So what I do, uh, I utilize the shockwave therapy to break up that chronic scar tissue formation and via chiropractic, specific chiropractic adjusting, realign that uh, area, whether it be in a, you know extremity joint or spine, and allow your brain to uh, lay down new scar tissue that emulates normal tissue as much as possible, more linear in fashion and stronger. I see. So that's where the rehab comes in. Correct. Okay, good. Correct. And um, does it hurt? Um, it is uh, uncomfortable a little bit, uh, but the patient's tolerance is what we always ask them to do, to tell us how much they could handle as far as the intensity that we use, because you could change the frequency, the intensity, 
the depth of penetration by changing the head pieces, but also the number of pulses. So mm -hmm. if somebody could maybe handle a one or two, that's all we do. If the, you know, somebody could handle a little bit higher intensity, that's also what we do. But as we treat them, as the treatment begins and commences, because we're breaking up the scar tissue, the patient's tolerance also goes up because now they don't have as much pain receptors mm -hmm. that we have to deal with. So they could handle um, more of an intensity as far as the pulses are concerned. Makes sense. Yeah. And uh, I guess the longer an injury has been chronic, there's probably more scar tissue, so you would, you would probably want to go with a higher intensity, right? Um, initially, no. We want to make sure, because the way I, um, the protocol that I developed is um, I determine how deep I need to go to get to the, you know, basically what we call the periosteum, which is the sheath that covers the bone. And I work backwards. So let's say it's the maximum depth we need to get is 25 millimeters. These head pieces are in five millimeter increments. I start at about 15, I do two at 15, two at 20, and then the last three are done at 25 millimeters. Sometimes the patient needs more than seven treatments, maybe up to 10. So we kind of manage that, but um, as, as we start shallow, we slowly start building up on not only breaking up different uh, layers of scar tissue, but also the, uh, the intensity of the treatment goes up, but the patient doesn't perceive it as much. Well, that's, that's awesome because my understanding is that there aren't many modalities that go 25 millimeters. Well, so with this one, we could actually go to 30 millimeters. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know when you put a hot pack on your skin, it's, it's pretty much superficial. Sure. You know, it doesn't get down to like, let's say you have a deep joint, like a hip, mm -hmm. you know, the acetabulum is, Correct. you know, how many millimeters is, is that? So. Well, depending on the yeah. patient also, I mean, uh, this uh, technology has been used by uh, veterinarians for a long time. Um, and they have access to applicators that go as deep as 40, maybe 50 millimeters wow. uh, to, do, you know, to treat horses and what have you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Great. And uh, where would one go? Is this something that's common in the United States? So uh, it's actually extremely common in Europe and Asia. Uh, they've been utilizing it for a long time. Um, all the pro uh, sports teams, especially soccer teams in Europe, they use it That's as a normal protocol. Um, I worked with uh, San Jose Earthquakes here locally. Um, some of their players were European, and uh, after they had been injured, they requested European protocol for their rehab, and they had provided all the rehab things, but there was one thing that was missing, was the shockwave therapy, that they, it's a normal process for rehab, tre uh, you know, rehab protocol that they have. Teams mm -hmm. like Barcelona, Real Madrid, and all of them. And um, the uh, strength and conditioning coach is one of my patients, and. Uh, a friend of mine and he had referred the patients over to add this to the uh, rehab protocol. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as in the United States, it started in back east and start, you know, basically making its way into western United States, west coast. Um, Southern California beginning and my colleague and I were the first ones to kind of bring it up to Northern California about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing it longer than that. Mm -hmm. And just so you uh Give a good analogy of this. Did you say it's related to the machines that got rid of kidney stones? It's yeah. the same kind of technology, basically? It is the same technology. Lithotripsy is a class two modalities that mm -hmm. it could only be used by medical doctors, urologists, to break up kidney stones. This is a FDA approved class one modality um, in the same category as ultrasound, TENS unit, muscle stem, Russian stem, all of those. So it is within our scope of practice as chiropractors to be using it. Also, the technology, this particular unit, and with the head pieces, can also be used in the shockwave therapy for conditions like erectile dysfunction, for non-union fractures, which those two conditions are out of our scope. So if we want to be able to work with those patients, we have to work uh, with medical doctors under medical supervision and with their medical you know, licensing. I see. How about uh, someone who's post-surgery? Yes. Would that be? And how long after the surgery? Like let's um, say you had knee surgery and you want to prevent that scar tissue from building up? How, how well, as you know, with the knee replacements, they <clears throat> get them on you know, movement and rehabbing immediately. Uh, one thing that we have to, it's contraindicated with this unit, uh, again, going back to how they found out about it, because we can be utilizing it right at the uh, you know, replaced parts. Uh, basically because of the sound waves, it jars Mm -hmm. the knee replaced areas or shoulders yeah. or what have you lose. So we have to avoid anything that's artificial as far as metal or plastics within that area. But uh, utilization of it, I've done pre-surgical, post-surgical uh, as soon as possible because we w mm -hmm. you want to get maximum amount of improvement in as soon as possible right. prior to scar tissue forming. So Great. Yeah. Could, could you uh, 
maybe explain some of the cases you've had that, that sure. have been successful? Um, as far as uh, the, when you're looking at the uh, RCTs, uh, as far as the uh, randomized control trial studies that you look at the, across the board with Shockwave and the technology, they show about 70 to 80 percent um, very positive results with conditions that it's used for. In my clinic and also my colleagues' clinic, we, I could easily tell you it's been above 90 percent. Uh, things like uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, which is very common as you know, but the, some of the conditions that I've used this quite a bit are plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, mm -hmm. um, calcific tendonitis, calcifications mm -hmm. in the shoulder, literally breaks up calcium Frozen deposits. Shoulder. Frozen shoulders. Takes a little while. I uh, used to do manipulation under anesthesia, which was a little bit faster, depending on how chronic that is, but it takes more treatments for a frozen shoulder and it has to be really combined with uh, proper rehabbing as far as getting in there with the exercising. But uh, again, plantar fasciitis, uh, calcification, which is one of the big things, um, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, uh, uh, jumper's knee, uh, trochanteric bursitis, uh, oh, a lot of different cases. How about TMJ? TMJ, yeah. you can, um, especially if you have inflammation, but you have to use a very shallow and very minimal amount of um, pulses mm -hmm. and intensity just to be uh, basically to work the, the, the temporal mandibular joint area. Mm -hmm. But deep retains contractures where patient's fingers yes. are stuck, uh, you could use it for that. Anything that you're dealing with fibrosis, adhesions, or scar tissue formation, mm -hmm. which almost is everything in musculoskeletals. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it sounds like an amazing machine. It is. It I is. think. Uh, if you have any kind of chronic joint issue, especially if you've lost some flexibility in it and uh, you've tried everything else, then shockwave seems like it's, it's the next logical step. Right? It, it if, is. If, you're, if you have it available. It is. And yeah. um, the one thing is um, most of us chiropractors that we always deal with musculoskeletal conditions, one of the things that we always face is uh, more, unfortunately most folks come to see us as a last resort. Mm -hmm. So when they come in as a last resort when they've been injured was one of the things that we always face. It's mm -hmm. chronicity of the condition, scar yeah. tissue formation, muscle spasming, inflammation, all those things. Mm -hmm. And that's where this comes in to be able to address that so now we could properly restructure the areas that have been injured. Nice. So do we have a patient that we could... Uh, yeah, we have a patient that I have uh, asked my assistant to uh, okay. join us and uh, she has great. a little bit of a tennis elbow stuff that we're going to demonstrate the machine on. Okay, great. Let's do that next. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Sure. For more great tips on self-treatment of common musculoskeletal pain, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website, painandinjurydoctor.com. Thanks for watching.